Hey, how you doing? It's Dan from Synapse Brain Training. So today we're going to discuss uh, smart drugs. And uh, I know there's a lot on the market, there's a lot of controversy surrounding them. And uh, here's my opinion on smart drugs. So I'm going to give you a little um, reference to uh, bodybuilding or you know building muscle to try to kind of give the uh, analogy to um, to uh, brain training just because it's, it's a little difficult to talk about synaptic nerves and, and pathways, you know, increasing in size or getting bigger. But uh, let me give you this example. All right, someone who, um, you know, let's say a bodybuilder decides to, uh, you know, take the, um, the other road and, and do steroids, okay? Steroids are, you know, let's say, you know, growth hormone too. But right now, let's just think about steroids, okay? So this bodybuilder decides to take steroids. Um, and work out and try to get bigger. So is the only thing this guy's gonna do uh, is is work out and lift weights and lift the same weights every day? Um, do you think he's what type of results or, or you know is he gonna get? Is he just gonna get amazing results? Uh, you know, if you took steroids tomorrow and just started you know working out how you're working out, do you think you get amazing results, or do you think there's maybe some other things you should do besides um, besides just lift the weights and uh, you know? Maybe what you should be doing is, you know, getting the right amounts, amount of uh, proteins, carbohydrates, uh, fats, uh, you know, getting in different types of, you know, branched chain amino acids, maybe, <laughs> maybe adding on some um, um, confusion with your workout, muscle confusion, uh, lifting, you know, light weights for a period of time and switching up, lifting really heavy, then doing cardio, then, uh, you know, changing and, um, you know, Confusing the muscles and shocking the muscles into growing and getting bigger and uh, expanding that Or do you think it would just be good to just lift the same amount of weight every every single day? Not take any of the other, you know, bases that you should and just kind of, you know, take the steroids Well, obviously if you do it, if you have a lifting regimen if you're, if you're if you're taking these, you know, the correct amount of protein You're eating tons of meals. You have a good base of, of other things you're taking besides just the steroids then you're going to increase exponentially compared to someone who's just taking the steroids. So, back to um, smart drugs. Um, yes, some of them work. Yes, they're good. But people don't understand. You need a, to build a base. Like there's people don't really understand that. And I feel like you know, smart drugs in general are just so new that that uh, people just um, you know get the get the benefit from them and think that that's good enough. But it's like no, you could get a way more of a benefit from, from them if you actually built your base. And uh, by no means am I, you know, telling anyone or saying that you should do that. But for the people that are already doing it, you know, legally, um, you know, you should build your base before you do that. So, so what's your base? Well, let's just kind of think of the muscles, how the muscles need to get proper forms of con uh, confusion, rest, nutrients. They need, you know, so a wide variety of things need to grow. So does the brain. You know, the brain is <laughs> needs to grow. It's, it needs uh, confusion, so it needs to constantly be changing up the type of stimulus it's getting, because like <laughs> like the muscle, it it learns very quickly, and once it gets used to something, it's not going to grow anymore. It's not going to expand neural pathways. So it's constantly changing up the confusion, changing up the workout, if you will, and expanding the brain. Whether you're doing reading, learning a new language, you know, learning, uh, you know, let's say you learn Muay Thai, <laughs> or you know, Jiu Jitsu, learn some martial art, switch it up, learn dancing, learn salsa, switch it up again. Uh, you know, do Lumosity brain training games and just keep on going, switching it up and having an actual pattern, uh, you would gain way more results. And, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, <laughs> like maybe 30% or 40%. I'm talking about two, 300% more um, capacity than you would if you just, you know, pop the uh, uh, blank drug <laughs> and... Um, and then, you know, went about your day. And the reason why is, yeah, your brain is gonna be running at a heightened capacity with most of these, you know, smart drugs, but um, it's not going to grow in, in the ways that you're gonna want it to. It's not gonna grow in intelligence because there's not enough stimulus on it and it's not being changed, confused, or challenged. And that's just one of the things. Also, you have to consider this. There's a lot of, you know, neurotoxins that you're naturally taking in I would say 99% of Americans take in that, you know, are negatively affecting these drugs that you just don't know about. And, th and then they're not, they don't understand how to properly rest the brain and, um, and the nutrients that they need to take in that are, you know, to, to build it. So th there's a whole, there's a whole, um, 
uh, amount of information that people just don't understand uh, that they could, you know, build this, you know, super brain, build these super capacities, um, and, and instead they're just going to pop the pop the drug, you know, or like our analogy, pop the steroids, and just kind of go work out, go throughout their day. Um, and the brain is not going to, the brain does not like that. I mean, it, it's not going to be um, efficient. Uh, it's going to learn whatever you're doing very quickly, and you're just going to stagnate and, and stay the same way. Um, you know, a lot of these people start these start these drugs, and they'll, they'll continue from point of time, and then after a couple of years, they start wearing off. And when they wear off, then, you know, going back to normal, going back to how it was before, if you haven't built up your brain, is, is going to be... Um, not a fun, <laughs> not a fun uh, task. So yeah, that's my, my opinion on uh, smart drugs. Um, you know, Adderall is a neurotoxin. You know, and uh, you have to understand that you know some of these drugs uh, have toxins, have side effects. Um, you know that they you know produce a lot of things. You have you know from all the way from your nootropics to your supplements. Are your supplements just straight you know organic supplements that you know, you're going to find that you know haven't really been touched at all? Just basically plant based supplements from their root that have been ground down and then you have you know your uh, nootropics which is you know a completely new thing which you know uh you know <laughs> haven't haven't really been proved or, or tested so much and then you have all the way at the end your you know pro vigil or new vigil which is like you know the mentally arousing supplements which are you know uh prescription grade so <laughs> there's a there's a wide variety of things that people take there's a wide variety of things that you can do any of them require a base, okay? Uh, and that's, I guess, the message I want to hammer home, if I can hammer home anything that, that uh, you know, you just stop thinking about it as just like, there's just one way. That's a very linear way, and narrow-minded way to think about it, uh, because we've been taught that way. We've seen that like, oh, the limitless drug or limitless pill. It's like, no, <laughs> what you have to understand is the mind works in multiple different ways. You can be accomplishing a lot, doing a lot, but you can be in lower consciousness. There's higher and lower consciousness. There is, you know, there's alpha and uh, theta brain waves that you're running on that you can be not synchronized you could be taking in you know toxins through multiple sources food source water source um, even through you know you know think about think about all the chemicals that you're taking through that would could be negatively affecting you uh, you know the toxic people in your life that are throwing bad um, making your brain transmitters uh, light up and um, you know, giving you <laughs> neural addictions. That's there's so many variables in this, and to immediately just jump on the, the bandwagon and, and just ignore all of this is you know just crazy. I you know I don't understand how, how people can't think further than just one fucking step. So um, <laughs> sorry for swearing, but I guess it's uh, something that's been bothering me. Anyways, thank you for watching, um, and until next time.